so while we have that as well, I am going to just share my screen here of a few topics that I want to cover. Um, and it's 1259. People are still popping in. Share the screen. Mm -hmm. All right. So are we we're streaming on Facebook as well? Yes, we are. Good. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So uh, for everybody that's joining us on Facebook, for everybody that's going to be watching this video later on, uh, the idea that I have with these webinars is we want to talk about things that are currently working, uh, talk about things, you know, how do we, how do we have mind control um, and what's happening with leads, what's happening with clients, how should we be talking to our clients? We want to get other agents who uh, who are going through this as well. And obviously we want to figure out a solution together in terms of what's working right now and what isn't working right now. So uh, first and foremost, uh, talking about uh, keeping focused and keeping your mind under control. So I've been a member of a few different coaching groups, uh, both real estate related and non-real estate related. Um, and everybody's talking about the number one thing that, that kind of helps us um, stay away from the negativity as much as possible because of the fact that there's so much negativity being spread um, that you, you don't want to wake up in the morning, pull up your phone and read the top headlines of what's happening in Europe, what's happening in, you know, how many deaths there's been in Italy um, and, and, you know, trying to relate that, how that's going to relate to us. And obviously we're all doing, every country is doing certain things to, to increase measures to ensure those things don't happen. Um, and, you know, it's good to understand the general consensus of this in terms of where this is going and how we can actually prevent it from going uh, to where it doesn't need to get. Um, and that is the control they're trying, they're trying to implement right now, which is, you know, to curve the line so that not as many people are exposed uh, to it as possible. But having said that, uh, it's also not the greatest thing in the world for us to just be constantly plastered and listening to the to the media and listening to the news because honestly you know us we don't have control over what happens in italy right now and the fact that we read about it uh, on a daily basis as soon as we get out of the morning morning is really not helping us it, it is just setting up your entire day to be on a downturn um and if we're trying to figure out what do we do right now in this case as we are it's you know how, how do we stay productive because we can't you know change our entire world because of what's happening. We have to do everything we can to try to stay positive as much as possible. So the first thing that I've done, and I mentioned it last time, is I deleted the Apple uh, News app from my phone. Um, and I hated the Apple News app primarily because uh, as soon as some bad, you know, some breaking news comes out, it, it actually notifies me and alerts me of that. So that is the first thing that I did. Um, and honestly, since then, I can, I can honestly tell you that my mind has been at least better from that perspective, that I'm not being exposed to this stuff immediately. Um, and I, I'm trying to stay away from, it, away from it as much as possible. Now, what I am paying attention to is what our prime minister is saying on a daily basis. I want to hear what we're doing, what we're implementing, what's working from us, what's not working from us. Um, and, and uh, you know, how do we really get through this time and how do we get through um, what we're at? Uh, for a lot of you that have been watching the news, um, uh, Ontario did provide the list of essential services. And um, it, it's hard to see what businesses actually made the cut, which business is not an essential service. You know, we've got a lot of businesses that are essential service. Um, and real estate is a part of that as well. Um, and respectfully so, we, we know we're going to have a certain group of people that are going to say, hey, this is not an essential service or it's, it is an essential service. It really depends on, you know, where the clients are at. So uh, I'll talk about that as well in terms of leads um, and, and how that translates into leads and what's currently happening with leads. Uh, but before I get into that, uh, when it comes to mind control and when it comes to keeping sane in an environment like this, if any one of you has something that you want to share that's worked for you, please raise your hand. Please let us know whether it's on. Um, I know we can't get people on Facebook to actually come and talk, but all mm -hmm. of those that are that are on Zoom on the Zoom call uh, will be able to will be able to bring you on. And if you haven't had a chat as well uh, to say what's working for you currently when it comes to my control of uh, the few things that I'll list out that I know have worked for, for others, um, working out, uh, creating a routine, uh, creating a routine is actually one of those things that's, that's quite essential because even if you don't think prior to all of this, that you haven't had a routine, 
we have all had routines that we followed. Even if, if, you know, if you're in real estate and you work from home, you've always worked from home, you've had a routine, at least from the perspective that, you know, you, you've had a set number of things that you did on a daily basis, even with the kids taking them to school, uh, with kids activities, with, with, um, you know, going and showing and stuff like that. You need to re replace that with other routines and other things that we could, you know, do. So what are those routines? Are you guys currently doing anything out there that you would like to share that's working for you uh, on a routine, routine basis? Um, so we've got Tracy saying lots of exercise. That's awesome. Um, love that exercise is I've been trying to lose weight for the last, <laughs> I, I remember I posted that picture from a gym Crystal, and you said, you got to be accountable now that you posted it. <laughs> and I stopped posting pictures from Jim after that because I'm like, uh, it's, not, it's not the easiest thing in the world, um, especially with, with, you know, life in general. But uh, exercise is yeah. definitely one of those things that keeps our mind going. And it is, I didn't do rigorous exercise, but I did do, I do uh, on a daily basis, at least some sort of exercise, whether it's going outside to walk around the neighborhood uh, as much as possible. Um, I, I do also want to comment to, to some of you because my background here, this is our office. Now, I want you all to know that uh, everybody in our office is working from home. I'm actually self-isolated here in the office by myself, so I'm the only one uh, that's really uh, here. So we're not uh, you know, in an environment where it's unsafe. Uh, so yeah, exercise, um, mindset by, by creating routines as much as you can. Um, and that routine could be your clients as well. So uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is, you know, what do we say to our clients right now, leads in a time like this? And what are we doing as a company to help you guys prepare and help you guys through this? Um, and I'll show you some of the landing pages we're working on. But the, the one thing that I know is working for agents amazingly well um, is you know that your clients and your leads that you've been getting in for the last little while are curious about what's going to happen to the market. You know, our home price is going to go down. Our home price is going to go. What's currently happening in the market? Uh, believe it. Believe me, there's a subset of people currently that absolutely want to buy a home right now. And uh, they, they are going out there and looking for agents that are willing to show them properties and are buying homes right now. Um, and this is, this is even, I'm going to be talking about this in the new leads that are coming in and what some of these agents are saying. Uh, but we have to understand why. I mean, there, there's a lot of people that have been waiting for a long time and they're the most convinced that right now is the best time to buy because the interest rates are where they are. Um, and they're like, this is the best chance for them to do it. And they want to go out there to buy. So if you're willing to go show them homes, um, they're willing to buy a home. So, um, and then there's also a bunch of people that are in a position that they're curious what's going to happen to their, you know, biggest investment of their life. You know, are, the, are is that going to go down? And what agents are doing that I know, and even, even teams that are currently doing is they're reaching out to their entire client base and saying, hey, you know, I know we're in, in uncertain times um, and I'm, I'm just wondering if you've been ever curious about what's going to happen with the prices of your home and your, in your community, uh, we have a tool that's going to help you get, stay up to date. Um, and you're going to get an email every time a new property lists what it's listing for and an email when it sells of when it, when it, when, what it's sold for. So of all the time, this is one of those times that uh, they, they truly are curious even more so than before. And we actually get a chance to reach out to them to ask their permission to get them set up on, um, on a nosy neighbor and I'll be talking about that. So for those of you that don't know uh, the nosy neighbor landing page, here's what it looks like. Um, and here is what we're also going to be doing with that nosy neighbor landing page. So this is our current nosy neighbor landing page. You guys can see my screen, right, Crystal? Yep. We okay. Sure can. So instant updates when your neighbors are selling. Uh, the concept here is that when somebody goes through the process, uh, the lead will automatically get added to your CRM they're going to get set up on a, an update when new properties are listed in the area and sold in the area. Now, what we're doing here to change this up a little bit um, and to make it very relevant to the current situation that we're in uh, is we're creating ads that you're going to be able to run on Facebook. Um, and, you know, how is COVID-19 affecting house prices in your neighborhood? Um, we've made sure that both of these ads don't have too much text so that you can actually use them on Facebook. We're gonna create a webinar to show you guys exactly how to actually set up these ads and then run them on Facebook. 
and the landing page that we're going to be taking these people to that's going to showcase this. Give me a second. Let me actually just show you that example. All right, here we go. So the landing page is going to be similar to what our nosy neighbor landing page looks like, but it's going to say how COVID-19 is affecting house prices. After they enter their address, they're going to be taken to the same exact step where they're going to fill out the rest of their info, um, and we're going to get them into the database and get them, get, them, uh, get them into your CRM, so you're going to get a notification there's a new lead. Um, and then anytime a property is listed or sold in the areas where we have sold data, they're going to receive a notification of the actual sale. So that is uh, coming. I, I'm trying to get this out as soon as possible. Um, if we can get this cut up by the by even tomorrow, I'll get it out there. By, by the end of this week, um, the websites are going to have this available so we can add all these landing pages. They're going to be automatically added to every single website. Uh, but we, if you want to set up your ads, we'll create a webinar to show you guys exactly how to set up ads to deliver traffic into this page. Okay. So any questions on this part uh, while while we're at it? Uh, and Crystal, if there's any questions on Facebook, I'm not monitoring Facebook. Yeah, I'm only looking no. At yeah, so it's going to just ask you how these new landing pages for us. Uh, we obviously you just answered that uh, yeah. respectfully. Um, but aside from that, no, nothing in here regarding that, okay. so to speak. Now, what are your thoughts? And I'm, I'm going to ask everyone as well, yeah. is the thoughts on, you know, obviously it's self-isolation and not coming in contact with people. Um, but what are thoughts on, you know, like flyer dropping? Because a lot of you are trying to save money right now by not running advertising and saving on those those costs there um what are thoughts on just like going and dropping it at someone's house not actually going and knocking and talking to anyone but just leaving it there um because it could be you know a value incentive because a lot of people are, are likely in the situation where they're they're very curious as to how it's going to yeah. affect their, their i would attitude. rather make a call in all honesty mm -hmm. at this very time i would rather you call them rather than dropping anything off or going around walking around with um, things that we're leaving because they, they, it could be looked at as, you know, anything that's a physical contact right now, whether it's you dropping it off at, a, at their home or whether it's door knocking right now, I think should stop. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I don't think that would be a good idea, but um, a, an actual phone call to them and, and saying, Hey, listen, you know, if you've ever been curious about really what's happening in the market and, and you know, where your home prices are going to go, uh, this, I've, we've got a service that can add you on. And then you put their address into this and you take them through the process of getting it on. So if you don't have the money to mm -hmm. spend on, on Facebook ads and believe me guys right now, uh, with the cost per click, I'll talk about the cost per lead as well. Uh, the cost per lead has gone down because there's definitely a lot less people that are spending money on Google and on Facebook, both platforms, your, your cost per click is going to be lower. So you can spend $50 a month on your ads on Facebook and, you know, end up getting five, 10 uh, leads out of it, if not more than that um, easily. So it's, it's definitely a good time if you have some money saved up uh, to, to spend it. I do want to talk about very specifically when it comes to real estate. I mean, and this is, I'm going to be very blunt here. And, and I, I, I um, when it comes to real estate, if we look at out of, out of all the professions, all the professions in the world right now, um, the real estate profession is probably one of the most secure ones, uh, regardless of what the market is, whether the market completely takes a dive and a lot of people lose their jobs um, or if this whole thing vanishes in a couple of weeks, um, people are still going to have to buy and sell their homes. So no matter what, this is going to continue going on. And that is, that is something that we have to keep in mind. And the only thing that we want to do right now is be cognizant of the fact that we're, I don't want to push somebody into a sale that doesn't want to go into a sale right now because, you know, obviously for maybe the next month or two, sales are going to slow down and we're not going to be able to uh, sell them. But what we're trying to do during this time is create those relationships because what's happening in the market right now, people and leads are actually much more willing to talk. And I don't want to hear your conversation if you're going to bullshit me and give me some crap that that's not true. But if you're being honest with me and, you know, telling me exactly like it is because we don't have a magic ball that's going to tell us what's going to happen and when this all is going to end. But when it ends, I want to be there for you. 
And when it ends, we know for a fact that people are going to want to buy and sell a home and, or need to buy and sell a home because that's just the nature of it. You know, there's going to be lots of different scenarios that I heard. It was funny. I was on a phone call with, with, um, I don't want to talk about the, uh, who it was or give any inclination of who it was, but it was, uh, uh, a, a bunch of bigger teams and discussions were happening about really where this is going and how this is going. And one of the things that one of the guys says, uh, because a lot of married couples are being forced to be in a confined place for a very long time, there's going to be a lot of divorces that come out of this. <laughs> and I, like, that's, it's true. It's sad, but it's true. Um, and, Again, people are going to have to buy and sell. No matter what the case is, people are going to have to go through that process. And so all and people are more talkative, absolutely, with the fact that they're confined right now. Um, it's like all of a sudden you have some other human to actually communicate with, um, to talk to. I kind of relate it to, I don't know, there's probably some moms out there where you're at home with your little one and all you had was interaction with a little child. Yeah. And then the minute an adult came into to a conversation, it was just like, it was like you swarm them uh, with conversation because it's the, the most adult and conversation you had. And that's exactly. that building a relationship. Yeah. So now these people are willing to talk and a lot of it will probably be, you know, off topic of real estate in some cases, but it's building those relationships, that foundation of trust. Um, but it is. And it is. It can be real estate related where it doesn't need to be related to real estate where I'm going to sell you a home or buy you a home right now in this very moment, unless you have to. I mean, if you have to, if you're in a position where you absolutely must sell your home and absolutely must buy your home uh, right now, then that's up to you as as the client. And I will do my best to facilitate that. Um, and again, I'll talk about those in the next thing that I want to talk about, which is which is the leads themselves. And there's, there's been clients uh, that I've been talking to that have been continuing to lead. Some people have actually increased their ad spend to get even more. And I'll talk about why um, and, and the quality and all of that next. Um, I want to also kind of point on, there were some comments that was being made as well. So uh, Pepe, absolutely. Uh, I, I don't like the idea of, of um, if any of you are leaving flyers, if any of you have um, distribution of flyers right now, please, it would be a good idea to stop it primarily because if it wasn't going in the garbage before, it's actually going in the garbage more even now. Um, people are hesitant to take physical uh, things right now. And I mean, it's just happening more and more. So it's probably a best idea from a print perspective. Now, when this all stops, absolutely. Uh, I, I know a ton of agents who do incredibly well with farming um, and that are going to continue doing incredible well from farming. And farming is something that takes a very long time for it to work properly, but done right. Uh, there's been a lot of money being made from a, a lot of uh, a lot of these um, uh, farming uh, areas. Also, it, for some of you that, that you know have a question like uh, how to get sold data on a website, mm -hmm. um, we support at agentlocator.ca would probably be the best way to answer that question. It's really easy. We uh, we have our full support team working from home. Uh, believe it or not, we started working from home three weeks ago on rotation. So we wanted to figure out. Um, which of our staff is going to have problems from working from home because, you know, we've had people go home and like, well, oh, my internet here in this part of the home isn't very good. Wi-Fi doesn't reach very well. I can't talk on the phone. And we kind of ironed all those issues out from the get-go. So our support staff is fully there. Everybody's able to help. We'll, we, we'll do everything we can to help you guys as much as possible and answer any questions. So support at Agent Locator um, is the best way to get to that. Um, all right. So, Outside of the number two, which is what do we say to our clients um, and at a time like this? So what to say to our clients at a time like this is have a conversation, create relationships, um, find out if they're curious about what's going to happen to their home price because they are, believe me, they're, they're worried. Even those people that have bought recently, is the price going to drop? How much is it going to drop? And, and obviously, we cannot give them an answer right now because we really don't know. Uh, we do know that some areas are actually seeing an increase in prices because there's people still selling and there's people still needing to buy. But as of right now, the best way to answer that question is say, you know what, I'll keep you updated. Uh, I'll add you onto the system. And again, guys, remember what's nice with the system is that when you add them on, every time the listings go out, the system tracks what they look at and when they look at it. So you'll be informed when they're actually active. 
and we'll do more and more webinars that are actually showing you guys how to use the system properly for a lot of you that don't know how to do that. Uh, Crystal yeah. is going to share a link to our Facebook page that's going to list out every single session we're going to do um, and then how you can join that session through a Zoom call just like this. It's best that you join us on a Zoom call primarily because we can actually interact here a lot better than we can on Facebook. So uh, off of the Facebook page that Crystal is going to share both on our Agent Locator Clients group and we'll, we'll get it to you guys out in an email mm -hmm. as well, um, it's going to contain a full list of all the webinars that we're going to be doing. Okay. The It'll be last, the same link as well. So once you register for the first one, you're going to be registered for all of the events. All of them. Perfect. So, so they get and, notified. Yeah. And we're aiming for Fridays and Mondays. Um, so every Friday, so this Friday, we're going to be doing something with respect to those who are on branded websites and leveraging that at this time, right. um, sharing, sharing, sharing articles, um, sh social media. And then Monday is our plan is to tie that into the Facebook advertising and how to go about setting up ads and things like that. So, okay. um, this is going to cool. be compounding, but it's all, you know, tips and tricks so that you can leverage what you already have and gain yeah. success from it with, you know, keeping your costs you know, as minimal as possible with this uncertainty. Yep. Awesome. Um, the last part that I want to talk about is how our online leads right now has cost gone up? Has it gone down? Have the number of leads gone down? Uh, what are leads and what are agents saying? So the first thing cost, the cost per lead has gone down uh, 17% in certain areas up to the max of 17% in certain areas. It's been sort of like from anywhere from 1% to 17%. Some areas have not seen a cost for lead drop. Um, we are seeing less levels of people searching though. So when, when we looked at how many people are searching for homes uh, to buy a home, uh, there was a lot less people searching to buy a home uh, now than there was uh, two, three, maybe four weeks ago. So definitely that's the change. Now we're seeing a small uptick in that as well where people are starting to search again. Um, we're trying to quantify the quality of those leads and what's happening and why. Um, we really don't know 100%. And we've also seen an uptick in people searching for um, what the values of properties are. So essentially people looking to sell are searching a little bit more. And we're going to, I, I want to have actual concrete numbers for you rather than just saying it's gone up and down a little bit. Um, and uh, we're, we're trying to gather that data with Google as well. So for those of you that don't know, uh, we are a Google Premier partner, which means that we have direct access to really information that's, that's at hand that we need. Um, and we're, we're giving them specific keywords to understand fully really what's happening in that market. And the moment that I have a real true answer for you, I'll be uh, letting all of you know. Uh, now, the leads themselves. So here is, here's interesting part um, that, that we've he heard feedback from multiple agents that I've actually talked to that are doing leads right now. There are people that absolutely have to buy a home currently. And what's interesting is that some of these leads that are coming in, these agents are taking out for showings a lot faster than ever before. And I don't know whether that's because other agents are not willing to go show them properties right now. But if you have a client that is currently in a situation where he or she absolutely must buy a home and they want to buy a home and they're telling you, I want to do it. If uh, you don't feel comfortable with doing it right now, it's maybe best to refer it out because what's happening is they're going online and finding other agents who are willing to show them properties um, and they're, they're doing it with them. So I'm not saying one thing is right and one thing is wrong. Um, I, I think every agent should make their own decision in terms of how they wish to do their business. Um, but the, the people that are absolutely in the decisive manner that they're saying that I am going to do this, that I want to buy a home or I want to sell my home right now in this market, um, we as agents cannot tell them no, that you sh don't need to. Because again, if they're saying I'm absolutely going to, then the, you're going to be losing out and they're going to be finding somebody that's willing to show them properties. So that's the consensus. That's the chats that we've been having from some of the agents that are currently doing this. Uh, the other thing they're saying um, is even those that are not immediately saying, you know, if, if they're calling the lead, they're first uh, validating what is their need right now. 
And as I was saying, people are actually a lot more willing to talk right now. So the leads, when we looked at the connection ratio from leads that were coming in before compared to now, agents are connecting with a lot more leads at this moment. Um, and they're capable of creating better relationships with them uh, faster. And they're doing that by not actually pushing them. So they're not pushing them into that sale. They're essentially finding out, hey, I, I see you've been looking for a home. Um, I see you were on our website. I, I want to be as helpful as I possibly can. Can you tell me a little bit your situation right now? Are you in a position where you absolutely must buy right now in this market or can you wait a little bit? Um, and depending on what they say, you carry that conversation with that um, and be up, be honest with them. That's honestly all we're looking to do is we're looking to be honest with them as honest as we possibly can. Uh, but that is what we're seeing and what the clients are saying that are uh, continuing to do uh, pay-per-click advertising and still generating leads. Um, and yeah, I, I haven't really been following questions, Crystal, if there's been any other I've, questions. Yeah. Nope, I've been, nope, nope. It's, cool. all, it's all good. Awesome. Yeah, I had a client I was speaking to today that was on her way to a listing appointment. Right. Um, so there's there's a lot of people that already have those motions in place because we got to remember like moving isn't just a last minute thought <laughs> for most of us. It's especially in a market like this. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. they if they so, if they have to absolutely do it, and it's 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 that it's that part that you know that that's causing it whatever that is, and we don't know the situation, we don't know what their life is like at the very moment, and what what the reasons they have for wanting to immediately want to go through that process. Um, and if you have a client like that, then and if you don't feel comfortable going out there, find an agent that, that is and at least refer it out so that you can get some of that business in. Um, and, you know, that might be the reality for the next couple of months where we may not be able to do that. And then, but we have to understand real estate in a general sense is not and cannot stop. And that is, that is something that that's going to continue to go on and whether we have a small hiatus of a couple of months. And I, I certainly hope, I, I truly hope that a lot of the agents who, who as self entrepreneurs and as entrepreneurs, cause that's what agents are, you know, you didn't get into this business because you wanted to make a consistent uh, check from, from doing this. Um, and I, I know, and I really hope that a lot of you have saved up some money where you could have a, a couple of months, uh, two, three months where you're, you're really not making that much money. And, and I know for a fact, a lot of agents who are very new go through that process on a regular basis. So for them, it's not very, you know, it's not unreal that they're going to go through that process for a couple of months. Um, and knowing how progression has happened through other areas, um, we can, predict to say that we should be out of this in a couple of months. Um, do we know 100%? We have no idea. We really truly have no idea. The more uh, I can tell you that the science that's out there from what I've read, it, there, there's every country is looking for a cure. Every country is looking for a solution. Every scientist out there is looking for, looking for a solution for this. Um, and eventually we're going to come out of it. Now, are we going to come out of it tomorrow or a week or a month from now? We really don't know, but we could, we could, whatever we can do right now in this very moment to help ourselves stay ahead of the curve and be ready for when that market starts to pick up again, you're either going to be in a position where you've accumulated and you've created so many relationships during that period while this has been happening that a lot of those relationships are going to turn into actual sales afterwards, or you're in a position where you've taken, you know, you've gotten hit so badly by this from a mental perspective that you're not capable of getting yourself out there and getting yourself to create those relationships that by the time it turns around, you won't have anything. And that's, that's really where I see it at. And, uh, we want to try to get you guys to the point where you can continue to create those relationships and then be ready for that market when it starts to pick back up and uh, we'll do everything we can to, to help you from that perspective. So, and I hope you guys do the same and help yourselves from that perspective. Uh, delete your news app from your phone. Don't get notifications of news around the world. That's going to put you down into, into, uh, into a worse position. That is my message to you today. Um, and we will continue to do these, uh, again, as I mentioned, Crystal is going to yep. get some webinars set up so we can, uh, during this time we're we're taking some time away from real estate to help you guys, uh, work your websites, help you guys work your leads, work your clients. What do we say? How do we talk to them? Um, and any feedback that we have from you guys, I would greatly appreciate. Um, 
There is a question here from Peter. He's looking, I guess, and it, probably from anyone in here, if there's any feedback or dialogue that you have that's working well with, with the clients. clients or the leads that, that you're handling at this time. Yeah, so I'll say, I'll say my part of it. And if anybody else has anything else that they've actually been using so far, so um, in the conversations that I've had with, uh, and I, I mean, I've, for the last, I would say two weeks, all I've been doing um, is coaching, 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 uh, talking to uh, larger teams, talking to smaller agents, talking to really everybody as much as I can to gather as much information in terms of what's really working or not. And as I've mentioned, I mean, some agents are continuing to do deals to this moment and to this day and may continue to do deals for the next week or so until they actually completely shut it down um, because of the fact that there, it doesn't change that some people absolutely must buy or sell. And if you're that agent, you know what? I mean, good for you. I hope you don't get anybody sick. I hope you, I hope your clients stay safe. I hope you guys are taking all the precautions that you can take to ensure that your clients are safe and that, that you're safe as well. Um, and then for those agents that are reaching out to their clients, I mean, what's working is creating their relationship, Peter. Um, it's again, not pushing them into the sale or uh, for the sale. It's finding out where they stand. And if, again, if they stand in the position where they have to make that move, then obviously if you're comfortable with that, you can continue. But um, if they're not, then, you know, keeping them updated in terms of what's happening in the market, in terms of how the market progresses over the next little while is one way that you can not just reach out to them once, but reach out to them consistently. So what I mean by that is if we can get people set up on that tool, on the nosy neighbor tool, which is this tool, mm -hmm. if I call my client and I say, uh, Peter, listen, I'm, I'm sure with all this COVID-19 stuff that that's going on, there's definitely a lot of negativity, you know, being spread. Um, I want to make sure that you know what's going to happen in the real estate market over the next little while. Um, I have a tool that's going to make sure that you're updated on uh, any time a new property comes out on the market or when it sells, you're gonna get updated when it, what it sold for. So that'll at least keep you in the loop of really what's happening in your area at this very moment. Um, and you know, I can get that set up for you. I'm just gonna put your address in and your, in your email address if you don't have it, and then you're gonna start receiving those updates. So that's, uh, I know 100% this is something that has worked and that continues to work in there. Uh, agents who've even stopped ad spend or teams that are stopped ad spend uh, are contacting every single person in their database to get them set up on this. Because once you set them up on this once, it will continue to uh, bring you back into the loop. So anytime a new property comes out in their very area, they're going to be notified. Um, and you're, you're doing that once essentially to make sure that you have that client in the loop for a very long period of time. So Peter, that's what's working right now. If others have anything else that they want to share in terms of what's working with them for them, um, please let us know. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get that shared with everybody else. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, anybody else mention anything to you, Crystal? I'm not. Nope. No one's got their hands raised. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, so we will leave it at that. I, I don't want to make these crazy long uh, and um, we want to make them as short as possible to the point as possible. We may be doing these twice a week or once mm -hmm. a week, depending on how things go and if we have things to report to you. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll figure that out and we'll, we'll let you all of you know. And then what we do want to do as much as possible is continue the educational aspect of things to continue to show you how to use the system properly, how to uh, call your leads from CRM, how to mark your leads in CRM, how to use filters properly to help you know who you've talked to, who you haven't talked to. So you can actually use our CRM right now to, to pull up your entire database and say, who have I not talked to in the last 15 days or 30 days or a year? Uh, and the system will actually show you that list of people. And when you make that call and you talk to them, they get taken off your list and into another one. So um, it's just knowing how to use the CRM properly. So anyway, I will leave it at that. Thank mm -hmm. you all so much. I really appreciate your time. Um, and uh, we will keep doing these uh, for as long as we need to until we're all out of this and uh, we are uh, good to go and back in full selling mode. Thank yeah, you all so much. Yeah. Next Crystal. time, if you guys all come in, if you, as you're kind of practicing these different tips and techniques and having these conversations, um, that's something that you all can bring to the table and share, you know, different dialogues that you found as, as being working really well or what your, what kind of 
feedback you're getting from those buyers and sellers that you are talking to so that yeah. everyone's coming prepared to that table and we can all grow. If and we, do we know how many people we could host on the actual meeting where there's like, uh, where everybody is in the meeting? We can see. Everybody. Oh, I think I can, I can make everyone the ability to talk when they come in. Yeah. I can automatically, that's this like the setting on the thing where right. everyone's speakers just automatically turned on their videos could automatically be turned on. So you can really have like a full blown meeting discussion, so to speak, where everyone's fully involved yeah. and, and almost as if we're having a conference meeting in a boardroom, but we're all in right. our own home. I'd love to try one of those just to see, you know, what, what kind of feedback we get. Cause I mean, mm -hmm. we don't, I, I'm not in a position where I want to censor anybody uh, from, from saying whatever they want to say. Obviously this is a discussion that we want to have together and, and figure out what's going to happen together and figure out how do we get out of this together. Um, I would like to keep it positive as much as we possibly can because yeah. we have enough negativity in the world to begin with. And I want to figure out what can I do right now today that's going to help me get through this and help me, you know, when all of this finishes, help me actually succeed even better. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if the conversation is very negative, obviously you can't allow your mind to even see that far ahead um, and, and be ready and be doing everything you can to, to get to that point. So that is, that is what the point that I want to make. And that is what I'd like to uh, keep it at. Um, so next time when we do this, we, we will try to do the meeting thing and we'll see if it works. It works. If it doesn't, we'll sure. go back to this um, and go from there. Uh, there was a comment by Tracy, my concern is closing deals in the future. Um, again, Tracy, we really don't know what that future looks like. Um, and it, it's hard to predict. Um, if, if anybody was to tell you, do they knew 100%? We really don't know. Uh, but the, the fact of the matter doesn't change that people are going to have to buy or sell. And let, let's say the worst case scenario happens where this lasts for two, three months and a lot of people lose their jobs. Um, and they, they can't afford their homes anymore. They're going to have to sell. And that's just the bottom line. The market corrects itself. Any recession that it goes through really does the market correction, whether it's in prices of home or, or really whatever happens, it's going to have to correct itself and people are going to have to go through, the, go through that process. And as I was saying, in real estate, uh, the, the, the profession of a real estate agent hasn't changed and will not change from that perspective that the people are even more so now are going to have to use uh, uh, an actual professional to go through that process. So that is something that's not going to change. So um, stay you can positive. leverage tools like these as well. So you might find yourself leveraging things like Zoom. Zoom has a, a free platform that if you're just doing with, with, with one client, you can have a face-to-face -face them from your own home. Uh, using DocuSign, things like that, where you're not actually having to physically go see people um, until it's actually, I'm like, actually required um, in for whatever instance that you would have to go to face to face. Right. But you can do a lot of things like Zoom, like all these VoIP and Zoom companies like this. They're all exploding right now because this is the one option that people have to stay connected with clients and whomever they need to to typically be face to face with. Right. I as far as far as changing the you know the the landscape changing in any other way again we don't know how to predict that we don't know how it's going to be predicted we really you know we're we're in the dark as much as everybody else from that perspective so all we can do is figure out what can i do today that's going to help me potentially down the road and that hasn't changed from from the relationship building perspective mm -hmm. uh, it is easier to create that relationship with people now than ever before um, we all have something in common now we all have something in common right now, and that's something that we could use to create that and build that relationship um, so that we could, we could be prepared when this all ends. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate your time. Uh, we will keep uh, at it, and uh, we'll, we'll keep you guys updated in terms of what we do. And if you guys have anything for us, please let us know. Perfect. Have your all self a wonderful day. Sounds great. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Bye, Crystal. Bye.